But first, I need to fill this thing with water. And that was cool. Now give me the buckets. I like doing this. See if see if I can even do this. Okay, sort of. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I, I I'm trying. I'm still trying to do that without actually hitting the water. What's up, people? I'm Zog back on modded Minecraft and life in my woods. And I do want to say, if you liked the video, please do hit the like button. And to see all the other fun things I do, subscribe. Also, just a shameless mention, I do have a Patreon. If any of you are kind of feeling the itch. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's a thing. Uh, oh, that's the first thing I need to tell you. I changed the map. Bam! We now are using Journey Map, which seems to be better. It's working. I don't know. It wasn't working the first time. And as you can see, the mini map is not showing. That's because I pushed Shift Star at some point or another, turned it off on accident. Anyway, this is weird. My, I don't know. The map, the mini map is not functioning. I don't know. I'll work on that later. Anyway, there's, <laughs> there's something I've been trying to do since the beginning of the series. Some of you know what I'm talking about already. The rest of you just have to wait because time lapse. Looking great. Just because we can, time lapse. This episode is getting a little bit weird as far as time timelines go. Okay, so if you've been keeping track, this episode is so out of order as far as how I've recorded it. 
Uh, and this episode is actually recorded after everything else. And the reason I did that is because everything was so complicated uh, and so difficult that I, I couldn't actually get all of the resources that I need. You're going to see me do some resource collection or an attempt to do so here shortly. <laughs> and, and my efforts in that regard. Um, and I talk about, you know, how to go about getting it, what's fast or what's efficient and blah, blah, blah. But I don't make it, guys. Now you know something that past me doesn't know. You didn't make it. You missed it, Zog. Missed it by that much. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you a view. There is a design here that I've been working on for a little while. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It actually took me a couple hours to record, or to record, to, to design out. And it's not something I can actually, actually, I'll tell you what I can do. <laughs> Uh, okay. Whoa, oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Uh, yeah. Okay. These guys are going to have to go, but yeah, that's the thing. Okay. So here's the design so far. Um, on top of these glass plane, panes are going to be two more rows of carpets, just like we have here. And I'm going to explain what's up with that if you don't already know uh, here in a minute. But right now, uh, those are going to be covered and it's all going to be topped off with a blue carpet as the second one that's stacked. So it's going to start with white on top of the glass and then above that is going to be the blue stuff. So it's going to be a cool little blue covered thing here. And around the outside, there's actually going to be a five wide strip of white all the way around. The corners in the water are a little bit decorative. There's not too much more added than what you already see. Um, but that's pretty much what it is, but it requires a lot of carpet guys. So much carpet, which is so much wool. It's ridiculous. And this is our tunnel. This is going to change. Uh, I just need to fit it into the design and it might require more digging so on and so forth. But for now I'm going to leave it because that's my only, well, that's my only way in at the moment. Uh, so that's a thing. Now, as far as the carpets and why they are the way they are, okay. Double stacking carpets is, well, it's pretty simple. Endermen cannot teleport to these blocks. Um, and I'm not going to go into details of why. Just know that they can't. They can't get to here. Uh, and the reason they might try to teleport is because Endermen, anytime they take damage, they try to teleport now. As I was saying, uh, Endermen will try to teleport anytime they take damage. It didn't used to be that way. Uh, it used to be that as long as the damage wasn't from a player or wasn't on their midsection or head or something along those lines, um, then they wouldn't even try to teleport, which is why old style Enderman farms don't need this kind of protection. Uh, and I don't mean old style as in the other style. I mean previous versions of Minecraft way back. I think it changed to like 1.8 or something. But we do have to protect against it. You can see we have a little bit of a crowding problem. They kind of glitch right out of the glass sometimes. Hopefully that'll be fixed once we add the rest of everything. But yes, we didn't make it, guys. And I got to do the rest of this pretty much off camera. Uh, it's just going to be done one day and I will show you around once it is done, but it's going to take a lot of wool like I was mentioning. So now back to past me who doesn't know any of this. All right, yeah, so basically two time lapses. Uh, that's the idea. <laughs> I haven't actually done the second one yet. Yes, you saw something from the future. It's a weird concept and I'm going to explain why in a minute. But first, the mini map is fixed. I think this breaks it. It does not. Okay, but it breaks me. I need to change that for realsies. Okay, all right, let's just go back. I don't know, something broke it, I don't know what, but if I go between, like you'll see the mini map change like styles or something. Um, doing this actually fixes it, but it's sometimes like it's stuck in cave mode or underground mode or, or something, I don't know, it's a really weird thing. It just doesn't really show the terrain at all. Uh, but doing that fixes it, so I, I figured out how to do that. But anyway, so now we're here and what I meant by you haven't seen the second time lapse yet is because I have a lot of marble. Okay, you saw this outside thing, hopefully, <laughs> if everything goes according to plan, you did. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff away, but we're going to take a look at something. I only have 46 white wool here. Let's put the rest of this stuff away for now. I know these can go over in our mob farm. I just don't feel like walking all the way over there right now. We're going to keep these out for a reason. 
that I'm going to explain in a minute. We're going to keep you out, and we're going to keep you guys... Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. So, the design that I have in mind that you just saw, actually... I need to remember that you already saw it. If it all goes according to plan, you already saw it. But it requires a huge, 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 huge amount of marble slab. That's not a marble slab. Yes, it is marble slab. It looked like carpet almost. It almost identical. I didn't see the little shade there. It's really weird. Anyway, yeah, so a huge amount of carpet. I don't have that carpet yet. And the reason I decided to go do the thing and do this first is because there is a way to get carpet, but it's actually kind of difficult. Uh, and it's going to take a lot of time unless I organize something to actually make it work better. And that's what we're going to work on now. There are animals in here. And if you remember, hold on, lead the lead. A couple of leather or string. Okay, that's the easy way. Or we can do some resin or slime balls. I'm not sure which one I like better. I have the string. Uh, actually, I may not have the string. Which one's cheaper? I mean, leather is not an easy thing to get for me. It's really not. What do I have a lot of? I do have the burlap, though. So I can do that. I can do the burlap. And then I can do... Because burlap is pretty... Yeah, just four. Yeah, I have a lot of that stuff. So I can get elites. Um, yes, we'll do that. I should have some string left. I may not have a whole lot. Here's one lead. I don't... I guess I could should probably do one at a time. You'll see what I mean here in a little while. I wanted to bring you along for this because it's going to be a lot of fun uh, if I can figure out what I'm doing. So if I'm going to do that, I only need two things of burlap. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, four. Okay. And then we'll go over here. Boo, boo, boo. I don't even use this guy anymore because he keeps glitching and doing... Hold on. Uh. Okay. I think we're good. I don't... I don't know. It keeps doing some weird stuff. Um, it, it keeps using blocks it shouldn't use, and I don't know, it's just crazy. I end up just using the crafting table, putting in the recipes myself. Uh, unless it's a really, really complicated one, then I'll put only the resources that I absolutely know are... Ow! Stupid frogs! You stupid frogs! Get away from me! Stu I'm going to get a bunch of hedgehogs and little itty-bitty rodent pets, okay? I'm going to do that. Why? Because those guys eat frogs. They do, really. I need to I need to transport them up here. And I need to tame them all. And they're going to go around and just eating all of the frogs on this entire place. So no more frogs ever. Ever, 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 ever. I do have a lot of cats up here. I have a lot of other animals, but I don't have any of the little rodents. Not not here. We got some peacocks. Peacock, peacock, peacocks. Okay, anyway, now, what I was doing... Uh, I got sidetracked, guys. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, ah, I wish I knew what I was talking about. We have Animania in this pack. I'm just going to reset because I don't remember. Uh, we have Animania in this pack. And what that means is that the mob or the mob, the passive animal things that you might expect to be true are no longer true. Okay? This is done. This is a completely different thing than you've ever seen uh oh little frog you are you dangerous frog are you poisonous frog don't don't poison me frog i don't like you if you poison me i don't i don't like you um the breeding and all of these other things are completely different i really ran out of walls i really thought i had enough for that i gotta make some more walls now are you kidding me it's totally different um <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to it now. There is so much to this situation as far as breeding and feeding and everything. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Why would it do that? Hold on. Give me this. It's weird that it actually was a recipe. I don't think this is enough. I don't feel like walking. It's a raw, It's kind of a long distance. I don't even know if I have enough wall for this. Oh, I made bricks. Right. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I don't give a crap right now. Oh, perfect. Oh, not perfect. Oh, 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 let me out. And perfect. Okay. Actually, crap. Oh, I need to be in there. Shoot. <laughs> All right. Um, bam. I can get out with a uh, thingamajig. Thingy. Thingy, thingy, thingy. And as far as uh, how different it is, we're going to get into that in a minute. But I need to fill this thing with water. Once I fill this thing with water... I am going to come back and I'm going to start talking about whatever I was interrupted with, whatever I lost track about. 
uh, my conversation was interrupted. I forgot totally, and I hate doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know whatever it is that I forgot. I'm going to finish that conversation. But first, I need to fill this thing with water. And that was cool. Now give me the buckets. I like doing this. See if, see if I can even do this. Okay, sort of. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I, I, I'm, try, I'm still trying to do that without actually hitting the water. Ooh, ooh, ugh. That was close. I almost died. That was interesting. And you can see I'm using more rockets now because gunpowder and my sugar cane has actually started growing. So we're okay on that front, at least. I was talking about you, Crafting Table 4. That's what I learned after reviewing my footage. I got interrupted by a frog after talking about the crafting table. Uh, but basically what I was saying is that I will, unless the recipe is really, really complicated and like there's a lot of steps involved, then I'll put only the resources that I absolutely need into my inventory and then come in here and craft it. And that way it can't use extras. But anyway, uh, but that's for simple recipes and stuff. That's just too much work. Uh, but what I've done so far, told you I was going to come back and finish it. I saw you, you thought I was, you thought I was lying, didn't you? You thought I was kidding. Can I, can I fly now? Can I, look, Elytra on. Thank you. Sheesh. Okay, look, it's water. We got we got some waters. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go get some things. This is this is the idea. This is difficult. There is an easier way. Well, I wouldn't say easier. Um, there is a safer way to do what I want to do. But we're gonna try this because I can I can do this now. And if I'm good about things, this is what I'm gonna try to do. Because if I right click on him with an empty hand, I should get my lead back, right? So, uh, I'm gonna have to land in the water with him. This is gonna be a learning experience. I hear a thingamajig. Did I get him? No. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Crap. Where'd my lead go? <laughs> Shoot. There it is, right there. It just broke. So, how do I do this? How do I get him up? I think I'm gonna have to go through the nether, aren't I? I was trying to do some creative stuff. All right, George the Goat. I was trying. I was trying, okay? I was trying to do some pretty creative flight things in order to keep you... Oh, uh, oh, uh, my game pros. There we go. In order to keep you and get you up there in a very creative way. But now now I have to do it the mundane way. The dumb way. And I just go through the nether. Which the people don't need to see that. They just want to see it finished, Okay? Let me go get you and a bunch of your buddies up there in that little pen that I created and now I can drain all the water out of. And we'll come back in a minute. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on in here. Let's see if I can just pull them straight through. Let's see if this is the thing we can do. Boom! All three of them. Hopefully my uh, leads are on the other side because that wouldn't be very good. Now, this is the idea. I have a portal down on the bottom, as you can see. This is a, a two-way portal, one-way portal. I think maybe it's... Well, there they go. They just spit out. Okay. My leads. My leads just disappeared. They poofed. They completely vanished. Um. Maybe I can push them. Uh, this ain't cool, man. Can we get them up? Oh, oh, I can push them up blocks. Can you, are you going to go back through? Has it been long enough? Oh, it's been long enough for you. What about you? No? Okay, I need to push them out. Oh, let's push them the other way. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Okay, now they're trapped. So even if they try to wander through, they're going to get teleported through. Okay, are you going to poof, poof? No, you didn't poof, poof. Hasn't been long enough. Hasn't been enough time. Don't, don't. I almost teleported. Okay, we good? Stay still, guys. Just chill out for a minute. Just, well, like a second. I don't know how long it takes. Hey, how long does it take? Zoom in. Hey, how long does it take to, before you'll teleport again? Huh? Jeffrey and George? Wait, you're both those, aren't you? Nope, one's a buck. Haha, -ha, you te you teleported. <laughs> See, he tried to wander. And it worked. And then you too. See, then we follow them through. This is really unfortunate because I am supposed to have three leads right now. Now I know that I should take the leads off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> Careful, guys. Don't do that. You almost died. We missing one? Oh no, they're all three here. Okay, just so they don't want. Uh oh, just so they don't wander back in. I need to get some blocks. 
Quick me! Uh, you. Perfect. <laughs> Didn't know I had netherrack. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Just so they don't wander back in, I need to make some more leads. Which is really... Whoop! Uh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Caught the tail end of that one. Oh, man. Okay. So I need to get some leads, which means I need to get some string, which is why I'm here. Why? Oh. I was like, we have one on top already. So now what I need to do is actually I'm going to make some leads. I'm going to get those guys in the pen and I'm going to set a few things up that is supposed to help them breed, which is what I'm going to try to do. And I'm going to get those things set up first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, how many do I need? Okay, we're going to have four leads, I think. I guess we're going to have four of them. We're going to have four of them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to set them up with some things that they're going to need in order to, you know, do what they got to do. And then we're going to go back and I'm going to either try to get some. We're going to see about breeding. We're going to do some other little things. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll see. Oh. Oh. I have three leads uh, in my inventory. That's cool. They just snapped off and went right in my inventory. I didn't even know that. Uh, okay. All right. So here we go. We now have three troughs. One filled with three, one filled with two, one filled with two. I actually filled this one to three. So they did eat one wheat out of this. And I don't know how long it lasts. The water does not last very long. Uh, it goes pretty quick. So I figured the food probably would as well. So I went ahead and made three troughs. So we have the greatest chance of being around whenever it goes empty or whatever. We can see it mostly empty, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and as you know, we actually brought three of these fainting guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's try this real quick. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. He fainted. Um, that's a thing with Animania. Uh, if you sprint right at a fainting anything, I think, I don't know if the bucks will. Hold on. This is a buck, right? Yeah, okay. Hold on. Let's see if, uh, if you can sprint into a fainting buck. You sprint into them and they faint. <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. That's so great. Um, so that's just a thing. There's one reason I got these guys. One, because of that and I wanted to show that to you two because they look cool and three when I shear them you get white wool which is exactly well it's one of the things I need um, white is a large part of what I need and it's also dyeable into all of the other colors so it is a thing but at, like I said we only brought three up they did breed one time so it is working it's kind of slow, but that's okay. I mean, eventually we're going to have so many things, so many of them in here. It's going to be nuts. Yeah, see, they drink a little bit of the water. Uh, Maybe more. Yep, there's another 100, 100 millibuckets gone. So, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a thing. You just got to wait a little bit. The, uh, the bucks actually fight as well. You know, every now and then they'll just kind of spar, which is kind of an interesting concept. It's not something you've seen before. Um, and it does matter as far as bucks and does. Uh, you need to have, you know, one of each for mating and breeding and stuff. So it, it's kind of cool. It's along the along the lines of more accurate. You need, you know, water. You need food. You need a male and a female. You, they, you know, the males fight. You know, it's that kind of a thing. The, the uh, moms actually get pregnant as well. So it's kind of an interesting concept. Uh, I don't know how that works. And, and, you know, you can only get milk from these guys after they give birth. That kind of a thing. It's, it's really kind of cool. It's very in-depth. And it might be too much, actually. Might be too much for Minecraft. But uh, we're, we're giving it a shot. We're seeing what we can do. We need a lot of wool. And the other method, I actually told you guys before that I did not want to do this. The other method for getting wool is via string. Which I didn't show you this part. I actually increased the size of this guy. I added two more layers on and I did this before I realized it might not be as effective as I want it to be. Like one layer is, you know, what, however effective, we'll, we'll just, it's, it's effective 10, right? We'll just ap apply a number. If one level is effective 10, <laughs> I know it makes no sense. It doesn't, you know, there's no logic behind the number. It's not an actual representation of how effective it is. 
but we'll just say it has an effective level of 10, okay? Uh, one level does. Because I am in this position on this level right here, that's why it has that effective level. If we add another one, slight interruption there. If we add another one, another layer on top, the eff effective level of the second layer is actually going to be lower, something around the ballpark of like eight, uh, maybe even less. Uh, and layer three will actually have an effective level of like six or even lower. Um, and that's because of the whole range thing. Uh, mobs will not spawn within 24 blocks of you. It's just kind of a thing that happens, just Minecraft, right? So anywhere between 24 and 32 is the prime range of spawning. Less than that, they won't spawn. Greater than that, and they start to despawn as soon as they do spawn. Uh, so we don't want to prevent spawn. So we can't go up a little bit higher. We, you know, we can't go too high to prevent spawns on the lowest layer, but... We don't have a big enough radius. That range, the 24 to 32, is not big enough to accommodate the full size of all three spawn pads. So it's not going to be as effective. But I did kind of do a little bit more math. I know, Zoga's not math. Shut up. Leave me alone. Um, and I determined that, and this is basic math. This is simple math. So this is stuff Zog can do. I only raised it up, you know, a couple blocks, uh, which is better. Because right now, this tunnel... This tube is 30 blocks high. We went up six levels, which leaves 24 blocks between here and up there, uh, between the lowest possible layer. But there's actually two more blocks there that are the water channels. And because there's water there, they won't spawn. So it's actually 32 blocks in there. So by raising it eight, which is two blocks up higher, it still doesn't prevent spawns inside that with the spawning uh, the, the lowest level. Uh, one block higher will actually start to prevent spawns on these spawn plaids. Maybe just like a block or two on each, but something along those lines. So it's actually better just to be right here while I'm AFK and you get the most out of it. But that said, I know that's a little bit of a long-winded explanation. Try to make it short because I know a lot of you don't really care. Uh, that said, it might be more effective. It might have more spawn pads. It might be as effective as it possibly can be but it's still not fast enough. Not enough spiders come through to give us enough string because one sh or four string equals, you know, one wool. And we need stacks of wool in order to make as much, you know, carpet as we want. So basically two stacks of wool will actually make three stacks of carpet, which is, and we're gonna need a lot of carpet, okay? Huge amounts of carpet. And we, we don't, like, I've gotten maybe, I don't know, two string, I think. Since I was doing the talk, I got two string. So every, what, like two minutes, I can get two strings. So one string per minute. So four string every four minutes. We need, like, hundreds of wool. So it's, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's a lot. You guys can do that math for me. I don't feel like doing that one. But you get the idea. And we do have this problem right here where some mobs don't fall far enough. Even with the extra drop height, some of them still survive. So many, <clears throat> weird voice crack, uh, so many interruptions today. But like I was saying, um, depending on where I cut this off, I can't AFK here. You know, for all of the things that I, you know, I made this area and I really can't AFK here. One, because people survive and eventually we're just going to have so many people down there that they're not going to spawn up top. It's not going to like crash the game or anything. There is a spawn cap. They'll just stop spawning up top because there's too many down here and it'll effectively turn off the mob spawner, which is kind of an interesting auto shut off. If I ever wanted to do it, I theoretically could and it wouldn't really hurt anything and I might get a huge number of supplies while I'm waiting before it turns itself off. It could be worth it if I wouldn't starve to death. Uh, in this mod pack with the whole hunger overhaul thing, even standing still, you need to eat regularly. Um, it's not, you know, obviously being more active, you have to eat more, so on and so forth, but just standing still, you will eventually go hungry and you will eventually starve to death. So it's not something that I can realistically do in, it, in, in any kind of an easy manner. Um, 
Now we did actually get a decent amount there. That was seven string in that period of time, which I was, I, I did take, there was a couple of cuts in there, but overall it was maybe five minutes ish total that I want to say. So, you know, there's greater rates sometimes and worse rates other times. So on and so forth. Can wait, can I, can I fly? Come on. Thank you. Sheesh. Um, but the reason I did this, which I didn't I realize I didn't tell you, which is why I started that whole thing was because this is probably our better route. Uh, once they get up there, we can actually shear these guys semi regularly to get some more. And it's probably going to be faster to do this versus, you know, the alternative. And while I'm waiting for these guys to populate, I can actually go down below and shear some of the wild ones while these guys grow in numbers. Uh, and even if I can't, I can wait long enough. They will, you know, gain their wool back and so on and so forth and all that other good stuff. But we'll, we'll be okay. It's just going to take a while. It's going to there's a lot of time invested in this one episode. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, if you do, hey, Patreon. Anyway, sorry, shameless plug there thing. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's just kind of a thing, guys. I just have to do a bunch of work and yeah time just lots and lots of time all right this version of me does know what's going on with everything it is recorded last this is recorded last out of everything so yes we have a lot of these guys already tamed up tamed up already bred up to this number but it still wasn't enough to get us all the wool we needed so the intermittent farm is not done yet but it will be it will soon be done uh, I'm just going to keep working on it off camera probably. Hopefully that time lapse was enough to get you something that you were looking for, but it is what it is. We also did the border here. So we did a bunch of stuff, okay? Huge, huge time strain, which is why I had to stop. I couldn't wait to gather more of the wool and actually finish the Enderman farm. I just don't have time, guys. I ran out. This is one of the first times in a long while I've actually run out of time because I still have to put the video together. still have to get it out for you guys tomorrow, so it's a thing. Anyway, uh, that is about all the time I have. So if you like the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to see more. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Do what you do, and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps.